Hello booktube, it's Andrea here with my week 3 November, non-fiction November, oh, I'll start that again. <clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I'm here with my week 3 update for non-fiction November. Things, they haven't actually really progressed much from last week. Um, I am still ploughing through the Romanovs, uh, 1613 to 1918. I'm on page... 283 so there's still a good chunk of it to go but you know yeah I'm getting there and I am really enjoying this book so um it's not a book I can take to work because of the size so I'm kind of having to read it at home I'm on late this week so I'm not getting in till half past six so I'm not getting a lot of reading done in the evening but obviously I am trying to read a bit um, I have been taking a non-fiction book to work. I haven't started reading, um, rereading um, Anne Frank yet because I was sent <coughs> uh, Eye of the Beholder from Head of Zeus Publishing, which is also a non-fiction book by Laura G. Snyder. This edition, the paperback is out on the 1st of December, so I'm trying to read this so I can get a review up for Head of Zeus before or around the time that the, the book is released next week. Um, the hardback is out but the paperback isn't as yet. Um, I've only, I'm only on page 11 but it is very very interesting and it is the story about um, science and optical instruments and how they started to use them for things like microscopes um, and noticing that there were things that they'd never seen before so little an animuses in um, water and so things that weren't visible to the naked eye, whereas looking at, with telescopes at the moon, we couldn't see things that were so tiny, and this is how they start doing that. So it is actually quite interesting. Like I said, I have read the first 11 pages. I'm not very far through it because I was reviewing a different book earlier, so I'm a bit behind on that. So that's what I'm reading when I'm at work. Now, um, I will still be picking up Anne Frank shortly because I really do want to reread that book because um, obviously it's a truly heartbreaking story. Um, but it also is a story of hope in a way, a hope that your story will live on and Anne Frank's story definitely lives on and I find it heartbreaking and sad and I'm hoping that sometime later this year or next year I will be able to go and visit Anne Frank's house. It's one of the things I've wanted to do for a very, very long time and I'm hoping to do that later this year. So I will probably, when I do go to, to visit the house. I will probably take the diaries with me then and read them then, but I do want to read Roses from the Earth again as soon as I can. Another biography I've got, um, non-fiction book, I haven't got it with me up here, it's actually downstairs, is a, my friend, a friend of mine has now left, lent me a biography of Wallace Simpson. So I'm not actually sure what it's called 100%, but if I do start it before the end of non-fiction November, obviously I'll mention it in next week's wrap up. So there's, I've still got a lot of non-fiction books to read. Um, I got a big pile from Carlton Books. Um, I've got, what else have I got? I've got quite a few on my TBR. I've got the John Carlyle book about Judy Garland and his life in Hollywood still to read that came out of the TBR jar at the beginning of the month. If I haven't read that by the end of next week, I can't see me reading it by the 1st of December. I won't be picking a, a TBR book out of the jar next month. I will just read that one. So that can go back up there. So yes, so that's my non-fiction November update. It's not very good, I'm afraid. I still have a long way to go with my uh, Romanov's book, but that's what I'm going to be doing fairly shortly. I'm going to go down and um, carry on a reading that. Um, just a little bit of news. My uh, blog has now got its own domain name. Woohoo! So now you can locate my blog much simpler with a very short, very smart, snappy um, web address. The new address is www.booksbooksbooks.blog. It's that simple. So if you want to check out my uh, blog, I will put a link down below. But it's now, it's not really a cumbersome long WordPress one, although it's still a WordPress site. I've now got a dedicated domain name and it's booksbooksbooks.blog. So go check it out. Okay, um, if you like this video, obviously do the usual. Comment, share, subscribe, like. But comment mostly because I do like getting your comments. I like to see what you've been reading. How are you doing non-fiction November? Because I started off really well. And of course, because I've got this big, big brick. You had literally build houses out of this book if you had enough of them. Uh, I've, I've fallen a bit behind where I normally am with my reading this month. But I'm loving it. Let's keep it going. I will talk to you soon. Happy reading. Bye.